Okay guys, guess what we're going to do today? Something that I probably haven't or wasn't going to share, but I thought just for shits and giggles, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. Someone actually uh, messaged me about making embeds and I guess the proper proportion of color and whatnot. So I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm actually going to make some shimmer embeds. And I'm going to, these are not done like I normally do my liquid metal bombs, but this is just to give, say you want to do a galaxy bomb and you want to have shimmer. Of course, you're going to put shimmer in your bomb as well. But this is just so you want to say any bomb you make, you want to have a little extra bit of like starlight, glittery, shimmery stuff. I've got eco glitter here. This is holographic eco glitter. I believe it's from, oh, this one is from Witty Point. Um... So I'm going to be using this. I'm also going to be using a bit of white mica. And the trick here is, um, let me just show you. I made this one before. It doesn't look like much. This is a silver, um, uh, like a silver shimmery metal type embed that I did for an, an order I did a while ago. Or a little while ago, like a couple days ago. Um. You guys know I don't like poly. This is going to probably throw you because I may use poly 20. Now, I don't have to. And the reason that I would would be to slow this down. And if I can show you, maybe I will just quick do, um, do I have something with glass? Yes, I do. Give me one sec. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how these different ones go if I, if I can. Let's see if we can get any hot water first. That should be a real joke. As you know, stuff like this works a lot better in hot than it does cold. Don't really have a lot of hot water down here. It's just the cold tap is kind of buttered. Or the hot tap's buttered, so. But we're going to see. Okay, so you'll have to excuse me because hopefully you guys can still hear me. You'll have to excuse me because this is cold water and embeds don't work great in cold water. And look at the color of my water. Isn't that weird? Let's give that a minute to settle. Um, anyways, when you use poly 20 and same with 80, it gives your, um, like normally when you do an embed, you want it to fizz fast. That's the whole point of an embed to give your bomb the color that shoots out and to propel it and all that stuff. When you end up adding poly to your uh, embeds, it turns it into a foaming embed. So it would be more like um, a bath bomb type thing. So what happens is, if we can do this, maybe I can move this, let's see. There goes my water clearing up. Anyways, what this does is it'll turn foamy, but it should, and like I said, my water's cold, so it's gonna take a lot longer. But what it will do is put the color on top of the water as opposed to let's say a regular embed if i threw in let's throw in a little one to show you there's different things of embeds that i've got to show you here's one yeah like this one is i can hardly see it but it's very foamy you guys should be able to see that how foamy it is it's just like having a bath bomb so basically your color will go on top so if i put in say a normal embed you see that it's it's fizzing underneath and it'll color underneath if you have SLSA in your bomb or poly in this case you should be able to see that the color goes on top as well so the whole point see that one in the middle there that where is it uh, that one right there that is the first one I put in, and it's foaming on top. If you put poly in your embeds, that will happen. But also, if you have an SLSA in your bath bomb, or any kind of bubbling agent in your bathtub, it will still go on top. But if you want your embeds to just do the top, then you can put poly in it. Um, it's also a good thing, too, is say you're making a basic bath bomb, and you won't have that poly in it. Um... You want it, you know, to be able to help with the coloring, the micas and whatever. So you might put a poly 20 in it or a natrosorb or whatever. 
Um, in this case, like I said, when you do an SLSA bomb and you have poly in it, it slows it right down. You can see, you can imagine the extra foam you get. Plus, I find it takes away the moisture, but sometimes you you want it in there. So, today I may use... I may. I'm not telling you 100% that I'm going to use the poly, but... Whoa! We're just going to see as we go here. Leave that there. And the other good thing you can do, which it's sort of a no-fail... Um, you'll get a no-fail embed. Besides the obvious of, okay, when you make an embed, it's... I always do a ratio of one to one. So it would be one cup of soda, one cup of citric, and then my one tablespoon of oil. Or you can go two cups, two cups, two tablespoons. It depends. If you want a no-fail embed, as in one that's not going to crumble, fall apart, it's going to be as solid as the one I just showed you, use the turkey red with a tiny touch of alcohol, just like I do in the bombs, okay? So that's what I'm going to show you today, and hopefully, let's hope it works out. So here, let me just get my gloves going, and actually, while I'm here, I'm going to get my, my molds that I want to use. It's already here. I absolutely love these for embeds. I also have... Where are my mini squares? I also have rectangles too. Uh, mini squares, and I might... These are my mini squares. It's a nice little silicone mold. They just pop out so easy. And then I have my star one. Can you see that? Probably not. It's my star one. I shouldn't be wearing gray. So I'm just going to show you the easiest way that I know how to do this. And I think I probably will. If I'm going to use Poly 20, Poly 20 is the one poly that you do use equal amounts of. Um, so if it was one tablespoon of oil, um, it would be... What happened here? One tablespoon of oil, uh, it would be one tablespoon of... of uh, I think I just put this on with my thumb and the pinky. That's what I did. Um, it would be one tablespoon of oil, one tablespoon of poly. But since I'm doing, see if you can follow me here. Since I'm only doing one cup of soda, one cup of citric, I would only need one one tablespoon of oil. So I'm going to do, obviously, a half a tablespoon of poly, half a tablespoon of oil. You get that? Hopefully you guys get that. Okay. So let's just get this show on the road. See if I can do this for you. And I'll have to do a demo after of how the embed works. Actually, I could probably do that even when it's not ready. Where's my opening? There it is. I got a huge bag of soda on the floor here beside me that I have not yet been able to pick up and put in my bucket, so... Okay, one cup. I should have sifted. I always say this, always sift your stuff. I know with embeds it's not that imperative, but if you're going to see it, then yes it is. I always try to tell everybody to sift it. I really should sift it. Okay, so, was did I just do one cup or two cups? I just did two, didn't I? Or did I? Crap, I don't even remember. Oh my god, see, I start talking and my brain goes, well, let's just check and see if it's one cup or two. I did two cups. Okay, so I guess that makes it easier. I did two cups. We'll do two cups of citric. And that way it'll be easier. It'll be one tablespoon of oil and one tablespoon of poly. Mind you, if I'm using turkey red, I add a little bit of alcohol. And I probably won't need a full tablespoon of turkey red because of the type of oil it is. So, just bear with me. And I hate to tell you this, but Orion just came down. And Orion is fascinated when I make bath bombs. And I don't know why, but he ends up lying on my tray here and he gets covered in glitter. It's quite funny. I'm just trying to break up all the chunks here. Okay. Now, for this specific... For this specific embed, I'm going to use my Eco Glitter, but I'm also going to add in a bit of... Uh, I think I'm going to add a little bit of White Mica just to help. 
Another trick, by the way, if you guys have probably seen me make the video of bath bombs without using SLSA for bubbling bath bombs. There is this liquid foam booster you can use. It'll work. I don't tell too many people that. Okay, so this is half, what is this? A half a tablespoon. So we're going to go nice, generous half tablespoon of white. Micah? I see you, Orion. I know what you're up to. And then we're going to go... Oh, I guess we'll do the same. We'll see how much I need. Let's see. This is my first time using this new one. It's beautiful. Oh. There we go. Yeah, that's more than enough. Half a tablespoon of this awesome eco glitter. And I only use mineral mica, guys, just so you know. Here he comes. <sighs> Orion, you have to be such the biggest pest there is. Sorry, guys. Anybody who has any uh, issues of cats being anywhere near here, just shut her down now. He's turning, you know, he's been more sociable, so. Okay. Thanks, Orion. Just stay there. Okay, so you want most of the, well, you do, would like to get all the bumps away. It doesn't look much different as far as color goes. It's just got the glitter in there. So, now. I am going to, do I want to use the, po yeah, we're going to use the Poly 20 today. Is that it? That's it. Hello, son. Oh, speaking of sun, what did you guys do to this? Oh, my God. Hold on. I have to clean off the top of this bottle. It's dusty, as you guys can tell. I don't use poly much, so the bottle's a little dusty. Actually, it's a lot dusty. But I did use it the other day for something I was making, but still. Okay. So, polysorbate 20. And I'm going to use... I will probably not use as much. Is this a teaspoon? Yeah, I'm going to only use a teaspoon. Only because I'm going to be using turkey red with a little bit of alcohol. Maybe a bit of alcohol. I'm not 100%. Like I said, I kind of go by feel when I do this, but it's all based on texture right i don't want the mix too wet because they will expand in your molds okay oh, i gotta roll my sleeve up okay so then we got turkey red and you guys know the trick with this stuff is you gotta move pretty quick but all right do i have a spoon down here no of course not didn't add any alcohol in here yet, but I'll just have to see. And it doesn't have to be alcohol. It can be witch hazel, too. Yeah. You want it to stick. Like, you want it to be a tiny bit wetter than bath bomb mix, in my opinion. And I guess I should have used a clear bowl for you guys, eh? Shoot, I washed my, uh, pastry cutters upstairs. Anyways, it feels almost like brown sh sugar. And it's, you can feel it cold, it kind of clumps. But I definitely still need alcohol. This is 50%. And normally, like I said, I mix it in with my uh, turkey red so I don't have to spray. It's sticking very good. And when I tell you guys about, I know everybody tests it by like squeezing and then um, dropping. And it doesn't break like this. Perfect. I like to actually squeeze it and then I'll kind of manhandle. When I say toss back and forth, this is what I mean. And it's still 
Very good. Okay, so this is perfect. Fluff it up a bit. Okay. Move your body there, dear kitty. And then we start filling it up in the mold. And you want to pack them in, obviously. These are great little molds because they pop out great. And if it's not full, you just, you know, keep filling until they're full right up. I pack them in a little bit. As you can see, they all need to be topped up. So we just go in and top them all up. Make sure they're all pressed in nice and firm. Wipe off the extra. That one's not full, so top that one up. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. They're embeds. But if you were to show these, like say I wanted this nice flat side to show, well then of course I want it to be perfectly flat, right? I was going to go live today, guys, but I just wasn't sure on how the uh, tablet was going to work today on the internet. So, not to say that I still won't do another one. It is only Saturday, and I can't believe the March break is already over. Like, totally, totally blows me away that the March break is over. Okay. So, that's that one. And I just let it sit here for a couple seconds, upside down. And then we're going to fill this one too. Give the mix a bit more fluff. Yeah, I don't think I ever really do embeds with one cup. And, uh, you know, like even one cup. Because it doesn't make very much. Unless I only need a tiny little bit of, say, like one really unique color, then I will. But normally it is I do two cups. Two cups of each plus the two tablespoons of oil. Um, I know there are a lot of people that don't recommend putting oil in your embeds. Um... And uh, I just, I always do. I put oil in my recipe too. And a good idea is to use the same oil that you're going to use in your bath bomb. Because then there's no extra labeling that you have to do. Um, it's just, you know, one less step that you have to worry about. So, I highly recommend using the same oil that you're going to use. So, see I use turkey red a lot. And I'll also use hemp seed and apricot kernel on that. So... It'll all just go on the label, just like your normal ingredients. So, these are all in, pretty much. These ones are great. I like it because it's sort of soft and hard. Look, I forgot this guy a little bit. So, let's just fix him a little. Okay. Now, take off all the extra because we don't want to waste any. I don't know where the cat just went. Okay, turn that one over. And this one, I love doing this one. Uh, but this one, you do have to let it sit in the mold. Um, because it's a stretchy silicone like this. If you jam them in, which you know you're going to end up stretching the mold. If you try to take these out before your mix is dry, they just crumble into little pieces. So, I highly recommend leaving them in these kind of silicone molds. It only takes about, you know, half an hour or so to dry. So just leave them in there for the full half hour to an hour. And then you can take them out. They'll be a lot easier. You can just stretch the, you know, you, you pull your mold and stretch and pop them out. If I have to, I'll come on and show you after. But I think you guys get the idea. See, and you got to really push these ones in. Because they do stretch. Ryan, what are you doing? He's into my stuff in the other room. Oh, no, you're playing in the workbench. What are you doing? <sighs> Such a nosy Parker. So I know these embeds don't look like much, but they will have a really cool effect um, in the bath bomb. I'm actually going to use these in my uh, next set of bling bomb orders. 
And I have a few other ideas for them as well. But So I guess I'm letting you guys in on a few secrets here, aren't I? Okay, so it's starting to solidify a little bit. So you want to keep it fluffed up. See, right now it is, like this is perfect bath bomb material too. These would not, you know, they would stay smooth. They wouldn't be powdery. Definitely keep their shape. All right, let's try these little guys. These ones, I like doing the little embeds just for, like, scattering inside the bombs. I wouldn't use these as your main embeds. These would be kind of like an accent embed. Because they're just so small. They don't have enough power to actually propel or anything. These would definitely just be for more of a tub art than uh, actual, um, you know, any kind of whatever in the bomb. Just be extra shimmer and, I guess... Yeah, just extra color if they were colored. <laughs> These ones dry really fast. Okay, so we'll do how many of those? I don't know if I can do enough. I could probably do another another tray, I bet you. Let's see if we can get it all in this tray. I think we almost will. Hope you guys can see okay. And like I said, sorry about going live, but if you guys would like me to go live, I can do another one. The only thing I have to make today is some bling bombs. So if you guys are interested in watching me make some bling bombs, maybe even with these embeds, uh, I'd be interested in hearing. Okay, this one looks like they're packed in done. Yep. Okay, so these are done, and there's a little bit of mix left, which I will take out these. Can you guys see this? You probably can't. Anyway, these pop out. I'll have to show you in a sec. This is that. Just to show you, you just push, and they just pop out. There's your embeds, all popped out. So, those are all out. And I'll see if we can get a couple in the bottom rows. I'm probably only going to get maybe six with whatever is left in my mix here. Oh, maybe nine. Let's see. I think we might get nine. Yeah, it looks like we'll get nine. even get more than nine. Let's see. Let's see. Put these guys up. Yeah, I might get a couple more. Let's see. Let's see if we can fill up these two. Oh, look at that. I'm going to get 12. Topped up. Wow, I might even get another one in here. Let's see. See, yeah, I don't want to waste any. Twelve. Thirteen. Don't want to stop at thirteen, even though that's my favorite number. Let's see if we can get 14. Look at that. It made 14. Okay. Yep, it's 14. Look at that. 14. Perfect little embeds. Okay, so we'll let those ones sit or turn them over. Pop out the other ones. And if I can, even though they're not completely dry yet, I think I'll show you them in the water and we'll see what happens, right? 
sound like a plan. Let's see if I can get some of the... These little guys, by the way, pop out so easy. I could probably do them in the bowl. Watch. See how they pop out? Just like that. Just bend the mold, and they all come out so easy. See, I didn't even have to wait that long for them to dry. A couple of them are powdery at the end, so maybe I should have, but just to let you know, it's pretty easy. But I am going to let the star ones uh, dry longer. Yeah, a couple of these are a little soft. The ones around the edges, because I didn't push in very hard. Because I didn't push in very hard around this edge. They were a little powdery there, but you can still use the mix. It's not going to hurt anything. See, they look like little sugar cubes. That's why I like them. Okay, get these last few out here. Alrighty, so let me just go get that water. And I'll be right back and I'll show you, okay? Give me two seconds, my friend. Um, I'm trying not to look at the mess behind me. <laughs> okay, let's just move some of my oils for a sec. Uh, you guys gotta go there. You guys have to all be washed. I'm waiting for the water to um, settle down here a bit. Anyways, you'll see what I mean by... Uh, they foam and float. So, let's try a big one. Let's put a big one in. Lots of foam. Let's see. You guys can see the foam in there. A lot of foam. Can we do another one? If my speaker goes muffled, I'm sorry. It's just probably because of where my hand is, but... Let's drop in a couple. Oh, we'll do another big one. So you see it foams up like crazy, obviously. And they're not dry yet, so. Yeah, and my water's... Oh, see, I don't like the way... I don't like the way Polly just feels by itself. So I definitely... This would be definitely so much better in a bomb. To me, it feels almost tacky. But that's the rubber gloves too, eh? It's just I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer in the water yet or if it's not even gonna work yet. But don't forget too, there would be whatever you're putting in the bath bomb as far as shimmer goes. Here, I'll put you down and we'll see if we can see in the water at all. Oh yeah, there we go. Hopefully. Can you guys see that look? That's beautiful. There, I just gave you guys a cheat. Don't say I don't ever give you anything. <laughs> I wasn't going to share this, and this isn't the full thing, but this will definitely, definitely help. So there. I think I'll bring this a little closer for you guys. Hopefully you can see the water. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, maybe a better idea. Let's see. I'm going to try. Here, let me get rid of these gloves. This is what we'll do to show you. Just in case, so it makes more, uh, sense Did you guys see that at all 
don't forget, there's going to be color in your bombs. So, here, let's try this again. Oops, did I just, yeah, I just spilled. Okay. So whatever color you put in your bomb, I hope you can see that. See it? The sparkles are all evenly spread throughout the water. Poly 80 will kill that. Poly 80 does not work as good as this. And you don't need poly 20. Can you guys see in the top the sparkles? So you got some on top, but they're in the water. They're not just floating on top. They are in. Right in. There's a lot of bubbles in there. Can you see that? Can you see how they're so, it's so shimmery? Isn't that cool? And I'll get the, here, let me get the bubbles off the side. With my finger. I got some of the bubbles gone. Can you see that? There you go, guys. Trick number one. But you do not have to have poly, okay? You guys don't have to have poly. Um, doesn't stick, really. It rinses down with a simple swish. Um, yes, yeah, so you can use poly 20. You can use Natrasorb. I normally do that in my bombs anyways. But if you're using Turkey Red, that in itself right there is going to help you suspend the... Um, the bio glitter so you'll have that awesome I wasn't going to share but everybody's gonna get it eventually can you see that if I stand behind it is that better yes that's better can you see it now there you go my friends I just taught you something it's a secret people pay for this and this is only part of it. I can do the full recipe, but that will not be for free. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but there you go. That's a start. At least that's with the bio glitter. If you guys want different colors, well, like I said, that's a whole other thing. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to see any more, check out the glitter on top. Oh, God. Check out. Can you see that? Oh, I can't show you. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Can you see it? See that glitter? It's not just on top, though. It's all through. Anyways, if you guys want any more videos, uh, you want some live stuff, or you have questions you guys want me to, to answer, please let me know, and I'd be more than happy to do another one for you. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit.